Welcome to another team profile and projection. And today we are doing the Milwaukee Brewers, the beer makers, Jake. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody say Brewers. Brewers. Boom, that boom, works. boom. Everybody say Brewers. The Brewers, that works. All right. We got it. Cool. And that's the Brewers fight song this year. Can you brew other things besides beer? Like witches brew? Witches brew, yeah. Is that the only is it witches brew and beer? Those are the only kombucha. You can brew I think. Yeah, I mean how many things can you brew? Brew. Whoa, you can brew coffee, obviously. Oh yeah, that's a big mess. <laughs> that's a, <laughs> a big early <laughs> mess. Big early mess. <laughs> well, we are, if you're watching on YouTube, we are in the studios. Jake is officially here. This is a delayed episode, so I feel like we'll save all that talk for the next main show. We it's do. delayed. Delayed by one day. This comes out tomorrow. Okay. The Brewers, Jake. Yes. Do you remember how their season ended last year? Your Brewers. Uh, I do. They uh, they got, well, you've been saying this because you're, you're a big NBA guy, but they got, they got 76ers last year. Yeah, I have been saying that because I know exactly what that means. So, Kawhi, who won it all. There you go, Mm -hmm. NBA talk. Uh, They had a game seven last year. Kawhi Leonard hits a corner three, bounces it all over the rim. You probably saw that. It was really cool. Really cool pictures came out of it. Yes. Yeah. Um, Raptors win. They go on to win the NBA title. Yeah. 76ers are at home saying, oh, that bo- if that ball bounces differently, mm-hmm. we 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 would have won it all. Yeah. And in the wild card game, everyone remembers now Padre Trent Grisham Gresham. I mean, yeah. That's the best drop I've done in a while. Yeah, and it's yeah. It's I sad. mean, that's uh that was tough. They go fun on. baseball game. Rookie Yelich got hurt out there in right field, doing his damnedest. A really yeah. fun game. You think Brewers fans say, like, we would have won it all? I mean, yes, you say that as a fan. In Milwaukee, there are good people up there, so they're saying, well, you know, you never really know with baseball, but that could have been us. But as a Yankee fan, right. when they lost to Houston, I was like, I don't think the Yankees would have won the World Series last year. Right, but that's they to keep yourself have, composed. No, they didn't have the pitching. That's um, to keep yourself so I wonder what Brewers fans honestly feel. They were cheating. It is kind of weird that they traded him. I know that it makes sense and all that, and we'll go over it. Yeah. But... You know, if you wanted to play the narrative, it we got to get that bad memory out of sight. Yeah, and like Trent Grisham needs a fresh start because he isn't going to hear boo. Obviously, obviously, that is not right. why they traded him. No, but I do think it's fun to just say it is. It's brutal. I mean, it, you want to root for him to come back and put that in his hindsight and. Ten years from now, he's a ten-year brewer. They win the title, and they're like, "Oh, remember that tough start he had?" But now it's like, "No, he's just gonna be hated in Milwaukee forever." Yeah, it's tough. We might have got sympathy. They're nice Midwest folk. Might have got some claps and stuff. You want to talk about all the guys that the Brewers added? They added a a lot of guys this offseason. Added a lot of guys and lost a lot of guys. Yeah, yeah. Go wherever you want with it. They added uh, David Phelps, who's a pitcher with a lot of moxie. Not really. Uh, mm. I don't know what he's going to do for them. Probably bullpen stuff. Thrower. They added your dude, Jed Giorko. Love Giorko. They, they added Justin Smoke, who I think has a very interesting career. Interesting career, Justin Smoke. They added Eric Sogard, Ryan yeah. Healy, uh-huh. Avisail. Avisail Garcia. Maybe. Actually, I like that move a lot. I like yeah. Avisail. Brett Anderson on a one year contract. Josh Limbloom on a three-year contract. And um, did they add anyone else via well, Omar, they, Omar Navarez, Luis Urias, Eric Lauer? They added, yeah. dude, Spanberger. They added a lot of guys that, I mean, um, if you're if you're a Brewers fan, you're well-versed in all this. You know more about the Brewers than Jake and I. We've been mm-hmm. running into this where people find our videos on YouTube that are fans of the team, and they're sure. like, these guys don't know as much as us. Well, you're diehards of your team. Right. So obviously, but we're just trying to trying to let other people know that don't know anything about the Brewers. Like a big part of this episode is going to be me telling people to make sure you know Keston Hyura. Yeah, and I don't know if I pronounce his name right, but that's a dude that needs to be on every baseball fan's radar after what he did last year. Yeah. So anyway, I just jumped all over the place a little bit. I it's good. Who are their big losses? You said they had a lot. Their big losses are the yes men, yes Monty Grandel, mm-hmm. uh, who our Trevor Plouffe reference is possibly the best catcher in baseball. 
Uh, they also lost. Excuse me, I was just there. Uh, Mustakis, he got paid by the Bre- by the Reds. He'll stay in division. Eric Thames, who had been with them for a couple years now and a fun story for them. Jordan Lyles, who'd been pitched really well. I'm going to go into Mel Kuyper. No, G- Gio Gonzalez, he's gone now. Drew Pomerantz figured something out in the bullpen there. Got paid, paid. Drew Pom. Matt Jeremy Albers. Jeffress, gone. He was a guy that was yeah, supposed was, to be big for he them, was but he gone was in the bad the last year. Yeah. Junior Guerra pitched some good innings out of the bullpen from them. Jimmy Nelson's gone. Gone. Travis uh, Shaw. Travis gone. Shaw is supposed to be the mayor of Ding Dong City for them. Didn't pan out last year. Terrible year. So, I mean, when you initially see Grendel, Mustakis, and Thames, guys that, I, I mean, were in the heart of that lineup and, you in know. The heart of the city. A big part of the team for a couple years there. And then, you know, and then it's the magic that they pull out of their throwers. Jordan Lyles. Did some special stuff last year when he was in Mil- only when he's in Milwaukee. They weaponized Drew Pomeranz. Drew Pomeranz gets gets big paid by the Padres. So uh, the the Brewers are kind of an interesting team when you look in because it it starts with Yelly, obviously, who he just got paid paid himself. Congrats. Um, but then from there, you almost have to view the Brewers through a different scope because over the past couple of years, you look at them and maybe there's not the other star power you're looking for necessarily but with the throwers and just a solid lineup they put it together they had six players with an OPS plus over 100 last year yeah they lost three of them yeah half. They, they lost half of approximately their, yeah their best players offensively so they they lost Grandal Thames and Mustakis but they bring in uh, Avisail Garcia, who I'm going to assume his OPS was in the eights. That's just off the top of my head. Um, and Omar Narvaez, who had a huge, huge year, year last yeah. year. So if if they got Narvaez and he's who he was last year, I mean, they've almost replaced a chunk yeah. of Grandal, if not all of it. Avisail had a 111 OPS plus last year, but he didn't have an OPS in the eights. So. Damn. Uh, and then who were who were doing Narvaez, Nar Omar Narvaez, Narvaez. Yeah, no, he had a good year. His OPS yeah, plus was one twenty. So yeah, those are good replacements for their losses right there. Kind of like those moves. Yeah, and let's uh, let's do the lineup because the the pitching is going to be <laughs> kind of a mess because it's it's almost hater and then you work backwards a little bit. But we'll we'll get there. Um, <laughs> the closer is the opener, every, but reverse. Every, everything we've heard um, was that Lorenzo Cain was hurt last year because he had a really down season, so hopefully he's back. Both emotionally and physically. Yeah, just a lot going on. Yeah, it was tough times. Maybe. Yeah, I made up the whole emotional part. We don't know about that. Was that was a complete lie. Um, Yelich, that wasn't a lie. It was a guess. Yelich is an absolute monster. Yeah. Um, argument to be the best player in the National League, him and Belly. Um, you like that it's Yelly and Belly? Yeah, I do. It's good, right? I do. Hey, baseball needs that. <laughs> needs that. Um, this is dumb shit. And then after that, man, and so they get better last year when Yelich gets hurt, which that was wild. But uh, yeah, man. I mean, Hayura, he's a big part of the story. He's he was a big time prospect who came up for them and raked last year. Uh, he's got some advanced numbers that think he's going to come down to earth a little bit. Uh, we'll we'll see what that looks like. Ryan Braun had a low key really nice year. Um, and we're looking at fan graphs right now, and they they actually don't have him penciled into the starting lineup, but I think he will be. And, I mean, I think it turns into an NL thing a little bit and injuries. I they mean, don't have he, Braun? Fan graphs doesn't have Braun in the starting lineup. Right now they have Sogard, Kane, Yelly, Hayura, Smoke, Avisail, Narvaez, and Orlando. Orlando, Arcia. Um, but yeah, I think Braun and Smoke are going to figure it out at first base. Braun can do some stuff in the outfield, and a guy we haven't mentioned yet, Brock Holt. You're going to see him all over the place. So, the, dude, the why, don't, have why doesn't dudes. Fangraphs have Braun? And I mean, it's just like an opening day thing. Who are you going to take out, Smoke? Yes. Okay. I mean, that's an, yeah. that's an easy yes. Okay. Done. I mean, look at Braun's numbers and look at Smoke's numbers. Right. Right, right, right. It's like, you know, one's consistently good and one's right. consistently average. Not as good. Yeah. So, yeah. it's like 
button up fan graphs. But yeah, you almost you almost have to include the bench. Ben Gamel played a lot of games last year. Jed Jarko. Your guy. Has had a has had a big year in the past. Brock Holt's gonna do his thing. And then yeah, I guess we could sub in Braun for 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 smoke. But you've got MLB guys throughout. There's not there's not a ton of question marks about them. I mean you kind of know what you're gonna get. The lineup's good. Okay. What, what, I, you confused me. You said that Keston Hyura has advanced stats that say he's going to come back down to earth, but... His BABIP was like 400 last uh, year. Oh, okay. Because his exit velocity, his hard hit rate, is expected... He's really good. Everything besides his expected slugging, slugging... Oh, my gosh. Slugging, WOBA, uh, it's all up. The only thing is his, he's, according to Baseball Savant, his outs above average defensively. Bad. Tough. First year. Yeah, and... Uh, I'm going to guess he wasn't a short st- uh, second baseman in the minors. Is that a fair guess? Um, I think that's half fair and half not fair. So a lot of second basemen are shortstops in the minors, right? But yeah, I, I believe his BABIP was around four hundred, which should come down a little bit. It's just how far does it come down? Um, but he he is a really good ball player, and yeah, I I, I don't know. I mean, who's gonna? Nope, second base throughout the minor league. Damn. System. So was, I was half right. Every he's never played another position. Damn, Keston, get better at second. Get a little flexible. Advanced defensive metrics, half a season. Yeah, you're you're right. I don't you care. know, I don't care. You don't care. Yeah, I don't know. Like I, I'm at the same time. If you when you ignore Yelich, the middle of this lineup doesn't impress you at all. But you can't just take out a guy's best, a team's best player. And then, you well, know, I mean, if he gets hurt, if that happens, if Narvaez right now they have him slotted in the seventh hole, if he does what he did Give last it a year, a little Latin flair, Narvaez. Okay, because you were very Narvaez there. Narva Omar Narvaez yeah. comes over from Seattle. Um, yeah, man, I I just think you can look at it. There's some depth. It, you'd like one more big bat. You and I were dreaming this off season. If, if they <laughs> went out and somehow got Rendon or someone like that, that they would have that pairing. Yeah. And yeah. they, they don't necessarily have that unless, uh, Iura is really the truth. Um, but yeah, I mean, if Lorenzo Kane can bou- bounce back, Iura can do his thing. And then Avisale is a sneaky, good signing for them. He does some pretty good things defensively and offensively. It's, Every given day, the Brewers are going to have a chance to win it, and that's kind of been their team's thing for the past three years now. Mm-hmm. And then when they need to, they turn it on and they do it. I'm uh, I'm on a deep search right now for <laughs> something so stupid. Okay. Trying to find what – because Hiero is a college dude. Right. So he really only had one one full season in the minors. Right. So I was trying to see what he played at, when he was at um, Irvine. No, uh, Cal. Cal State Fullerton? I can't find it. So where was he? Cal Irvine, yeah. Oh, Irvine, I was right. Nice. I can't find it, so I'm over it. Okay. Are they the Anteaters? I don't know. They dream that he batted 500 in high school. Does he have a cool nickname? Ooh. The Kest Kest the Hyora. Damn it. His his Twitter handle is Kest Daddy, so I like that. Kest Daddy. Okay. Kest Daddy. Not bad. My man. Oh, you know what I'll do for Keston real quick? Show random video. Let's watch a random video of okay. Keston. Ninth overall pick, Keston Ihor- Ayura. Am I saying it right? We're probably butchering it, and Brewers fans are probably mad at us. Random video of Keston. Oh, Homer Bailey ball. For seven. Nice take, Keston. Awesome. It's a really good random Electric. video. Electric. Yes, good job. Anything you have on the lineup, Jim? Bronze in there. Braun right. is hated because of steroid stuff. Uh, dude, still producing. Yeah, he had a one. He hasn't had. Braun hasn't had an OPS plus under one hundred in his career. No, a season with an OPS plus under one hundred. He's been above average every single season. Yeah, last year he had a one sixteen. He had an eight forty nine OPS three four. Dude, his numbers last year are good. He was ready to put the team on his back and carry him to a World Series, man, without Yelly. Why is Fancrafts not having a starting lineup? Just seems dumb on their part. Do we need to know about any minor league players? 
Not really. So the Brewers do have a very thinned out minor league system. I think they're considered like a bottom three minor league system. Um, I, I think Corey Ray is a young outfielder for them. He's a former uh, first round pick, but I, I think they're pretty invested in what what they have at the major league level. The, uh, okay, I know who we haven't talked about. Um, who's he's technically injured and he was a part of that trade, Luis Urias. Yeah. Um, you know, that's a guy with big potential and they're going to try him at shortstop. Um, cuz Arcia offensively has kind of proved what he is. And if Arias can figure it out defensively at shortstop, the guy has a really good hit tool or he's supposed to. And he's, you know, that that trade I'm wondering if that trade is going to be to matter this season. <laughs> like uh, the well, pa- the Padres. What's Grisham doing over there? I mean, he's. I think he's going to be their starting center fielder or right fielder. Yeah. Um. And then they got Davies, who, and and maybe this will transition us into the pitching a little bit. But uh, Davies pitched, you know, 160 innings last year for the Brewers. He was their number one guy in guy in innings pitched a three five five ERA. They get Lauer back, who, um, you know, he's a couple years in and he could throw innings. And, hey, again, with the Brewers, you kind of have to respect them as what they've been able to do to pitchers. But, um, yeah, I mean, Arias was supposed to be the big piece back in that deal. And if he can figure it out at shortstop, I mean, that would be a huge win for them. And, again, add some really uh, – make it a nice one through eight lineup. One through eight? You're not giving them one through nine? Well, pitcher, the whole, the whole, the whole uh, NL thing. Didn't they? Didn't they extend counsel? They did extend counsel, Jim. They're giving him the pieces to do what he does. Here's my thing, and here's my take. Give here's us my take the on the thing Brewers. Thing in the take. I think they have a really good squad, and I like okay. their lineup. Their pitching confuses me, and. Their philosophy of just having throwers. Right. I think we've seen that that works. Yeah. If you want to be an early exit playoff team. Ooh. Damn. I think the Yankees tried to do it last year. And I the same thing. And like Zach Britton came out and said, like, you need starters to go deep if you right. want to win in the playoffs. Right, right, right. So you're t- you're talking specifically starting pitching now. Mm-hmm. Okay. They got bullpen arms. Hater's good. They got bullpen arms. Hater's awesome. Um, you know, he had like a bad year last year and he finished with the two six two ERA. <laughs> like there was a while when he yeah. was struggling last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh no. Um I mean the his strikeout numbers are absolutely insane. Yeah, I I I think you're kind of right with the starting pitchers. I at first I thought you were talking about the team as a whole, and that's where baseball becomes really interesting because when you lay out a this Brewers roster and maybe compare it to the Cardinals or or the Cubs or someone, you know, these other teams in their division that should be close, you immediately want to jump to the Stars. You want to jump to, you know, I mean, they're, a big they're, playoff game. The Cardinals are going to turn to Jack Flaherty. And what are the Brewers going to do? But baseball doesn't work like that. There's going to be nine guys in the lineup. You're going to have multiple pitchers, and that's how the Brewers try to beat you. Um, I I mean it'll be interesting to think. I, I, it's tough to it's tough to critique them last year. I mean Yelich got hurt and he's so much of what they do. I mean he would have been the MVP. Yeah, I mean Hauser had a good a good year. Yeah, Hauser and uh, Brandon Woodruff has has really good stuff. It'll be interesting. You they both they both had good years. They both they both made. I mean H- Hauser made thirty uh, eighteen starts. Woodruff made twenty two starts. They had a lot of games pitched and they both had ERAs under four. Uh, for me, as of right now, both those guys like, all right, game one, ALDS, Hauser versus Flaherty. It's like, okay. It's like, how'd the Brewers A get to the AL again? Because that's... <laughs> well, Flaherty was also in the AL in that's that That's crazy, yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty wild thing happening. <laughs> they're all just... They're no. Just, just switching names. It's it's just throwers. I mean, the, right now, listen to their five rotation guys. It's right. Woodruff, Hauser, Brett Anderson, Josh Lindblom... Lynn Bloom over over from Japan, former top prospect uh, for the Dodgers. And then Eric Lauer, who they got back in the trade, who, hey, Eric Lauer, I mean, he's going to be 25 this year, and he's thrown basically two complete full seasons. So, And maybe the Brewers saw something that, that made him a part of that trade, or they just saw straight innings. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I, if if you're a general baseball fan, I mean, there is a chance that you haven't heard of any of those starting pitchers. Casual baseball fan, yes, or like even a diehard a diehard Yankees fan, diehard Rays fan, diehard AL fan, right. You may be like, you only know Hauser because he puked on the mound while he pitched. Or Woodruff, he, he he hit the home run in that playoff game, right? Like, that's my memory. Yes, that was cool. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's, there's not a lot of flash with the pitchers, but, hey, I mean, they've done the same thing for a couple years now, and it it ends up working. Well, it works to get them into a playoff. Right, but, I mean, I think that's their like, goal. Like, just to be in the playoffs? To get into the dance. I guess so. I mean, I just don't you know, think they're think, dancing. Think about the other team you referenced, the New York Yankees that have one of the biggest payrolls in the league. You know, it, their goal is to get in the dance and try to win it, and I think that's the Brewers' goal too, and they're just different ways to skin a cat there. You know, I mean, look at the Dodgers. The Dodgers don't right, have here's a what I need. Here's what I need. I need the Brewers to make a, a nice off-season trade. Mid-season. Mid-season trade. To go from... Dancing to dancing. So you okay? So that's our Brewers' dream world. Is that they're they're going to be in it? They're the Brewers. That's they're going to be. They're just good. They do. And, and the division is 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 going to be a battle. Like yeah, it's going to be so all like, over. I think they're. I think they're a good team. Uh, I just think that hopefully they can make a nice a little sneaky off season move that go puts them from entering the dance to threatening to win the dance contest. Can I give you something not sneaky? Otherwise, they're going to be like me. Winter Snowball 2011 kicked out of the dance kicked contest. Out Escorted dance. out by the police. Yeah. Yeah, that was a tough look for you. Um, what well, was tough about it? This is Lindor's contract year, right? Lindor, Francisco? Yeah. No. He's got the two years. That's why they're trying to trade him? Yeah. I was going to say, if this was his contract year, the Brewers have done the flashy rental before. They did it with Grinky. They've done it with CC. Um, like something like that would be really cool for this team. And especially, I just don't think the the arm is going to be out there they're looking for. I think they I think their game plan with pitching is A, not rely on guys because uh, if they go out and pay for a big-time pitcher and then that guy gets hurt, they're done. So I think they like having the reusable options. I still want them to pair someone with, with Yelly in the middle of that lineup that I it was the whole feeling behind the Nationals last year is that when when Soto and Rendon were coming up, like it was a must watch TV and it was B like if you were the other team, you kind of didn't believe you were get, you were holding your breath the whole time. If Keston takes an itty bitty step forward, he's that dude that's paired with Yelly. I mean, he had a nine thirty eight OPS last year. Uh, 368 on base runs. And it, Smaller sample size, I get it. Half a only, season, only half a his season. rookie year. But, yeah, can he get better? Absolutely. But I think... You also got Yasmani and... and uh, No, you don't have Yasmani. You Yasmani's have, you also have I'm a still a big believer in Braun. You are a big b- believer in Braun. And, and He's been nothing but good for 10 years. I mean, a lot of those are steroid impacted, whatever sure. you want to say about those. But there's a lot since then that he probably doesn't get credit for because, you know... Once a cheater, you, yeah, no one likes but you. But it's you smell. just different, and I'll even use it for this comparison. I mean, this playoffs, if Hyora opens up one for ten, you're not scared of him at all. No, yeah, of course. So, oh, you want a threat? We're both saying the same thing. You want a it off. Bit. You want it offensively. I want it a on little the bit. But I'm just saying. I mean, I don't think they the have Red, the Red Sox team. They had that top of the order that was monster. The Nationals. They had Soto and Rendon, and it almost seemed like that was it. And then the other guys stepped up and did their thing around it. Um, you know, the Astros, obviously, blah, blah, blah. Have you heard about them? But give me a dude with Yelly that if you're a pitcher, you're saying, I'm trying to get through this inning without giving up a home run. Okay. Because that's what it was with Soto and Rendon. That's what it was with the top of that Red Sox lineup. I mean, that's what it was with the Astros. Dual threat. Bang, bang. They, they have some guys on the team that can become that. Okay. I, um, but I hear what you're saying. They open up, Jake. Yeah. Against the cart, against the Cubs. Wow. A Cubs. Dude, this division is going to be fun. They open up Cubs, Cardinals, Phillies, Reds. But Cubs, Cardinals opening up is pretty cool. 
Open up with it. And the division's going to be brutal. And I again, know. I think that's almost... We need to clarify what you say, because Ploof was confused when you said that. He thought you meant it was going to be, like, the division was going to be awful. But we clarified it. But the, for new listeners. They're not new. They get poppy. Everyone gets poppy. And I'm not talking about the YouTube sensation poppy. Go look that stuff up if you're looking to have a weird night. I um, like uh, drawings with Pappy. I used to watch that when I was young. Drawings with Pappy. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not familiar with that. Marcus. No, it was awful. But it was great stuff. Great stuff. It was like Bob Ross for kids, and the guy's name was Pappy. Pappy's okay. Playhouse or some shit like that. Look into that. I used to watch it before I got on the bus. But that's that's what I'm trying to get to with Pappy's Playhouse is that if we end up looking at this season, like I've been talking about the NL East, and I say, you know. One of those teams is just going to be out because of injuries. Like, that's just how baseball works. And the Pirates. The Brewers, with their depth war players, or however you want to call it, basically outside of Yelly, which, again, when he got hurt last year, they still thrived for some reason because baseball geeks figure it out. The Brewers are almost, they're almost more injury-proof than another team? Because, like, if the Cardinals, if Flaherty were to go down, or if the Cubs, if Rizzo Bryant were to go down, those teams are more effective. Where you look at this Brewers team, and it's kind of Yelly, Herrera, everything else is, like, let's just keep the train going. I don't know, man. Narvaez was a beast last year. Narvaez was pretty The only guy I don't really like is Smoke. I think it's, I think that's an expectations thing because the dude's been an average, slightly above average player for a decade now. He had one really really good use, season that helps out his career averages. Yeah, but uh, I don't know, man. I'm not like a true believer in smoke. No, and it, but they don't rely on him. I mean, he's he's bonus points for them. I mean, what did they pay him? They gave him four million dollars with a team option for five and a half if he does something good. Um, what people need to know. Is Kesson Hira. Okay. Kess Daddy. Yeah, he's good, man. All right. I think I think that ends it. We do have a oh the over under here. You know what's funny? We haven't been doing the over under. Like I when I would do when I do this one, I don't remember what I said about the pirates and the, the cubs. Right. Which all ties like in. someone's gonna dig in and be like, you pick the over for every NL Central team, yes, yeah. and that's gonna be a bad look. But that's how it works. Yeah, don't take them that seriously, punks. Take them seriously. Bet all your money. The over under for the Milwaukee Brewers, they won eighty nine games last year, is eighty five, eighty two and a half. Ooh, interesting. Are you a Pythagorean guy? Because yeah. their Pythag was bad last year. Yeah, I am a Pythag guy. Damn. I think it's cool. I didn't know that about you. You didn't know it? Shit. <laughs> I don't look at it all the time, but when I do look at it, I it's like I treat it as gospel. Damn, dude. Yeah. It was bad last year? You're not going to like this. What was it? So they won... How many games did the Brewers win last year? 89. They won 89, their Pythag, Pythagorean theorem record. 81 and 81. But that's Brewers baseball, baby. It is. That's like they, they're they good at. Uh, oh, no, no, no. They're good at. Do it. They're good at. They're good at just winning games with their like throwers and mix and match and all this shit. They're in every game. You know what they're going to get f- fucked by? This is actually a really good take that I'm about to have. Okay, get ready. Sorry you had to listen to everything else. Here everything comes the else good was take. a waste of time. Wreck. Wild waste of time. The September call-ups new rule, only 28 guys yeah. instead of 40, is going to screw them. You keep saying Yelich went down, but somehow they won because baseball, they used like 20 pitchers sure. and just had fresh arms nonstop in September, and they, they used that to their advantage. And that's been a strategy of theirs. That's going to change how they use their bullpen and how they use their guys down the stretch. Because the last couple of years, they've just like, we don't care your skill level. We're just going to put you out there to get one batter out. And then the next guy, fresh arms nonstop. Get out. Okay. So. I think that's what you're saying with the Pythagorean theorem. They outplayed it because they did a lot. Like, the Brewers did a lot to outplay their Pythagorean theorem. So where do you take it? Explain the Pythag to people that might not know what it is. I 
I believe it's just tied to their runs scored versus runs allowed. Yeah, and it it kind of makes up a record off of that. That's how it's how people judge managers a lot. Like, what could the manager do? And hey, so, so like it, this the, the, for this like it what it says to some people who believe in it, like me. Council did a good job. It says council did a good job. It could also say they got lucky last year. Yeah. Um, that's also something could hint towards. And I think the bigger thing in I think you and I um, don't tell Trevor, but when Ploof says something, um, you know, it it makes us think about it a little more because it's coming from the player side. But he takes value in the the run scored or the plus, you know, yeah. the plus one hundred. He thinks that really defines a team because over over those amount of games, and that's kind of what the Pythagorean theorem does. It's actually parentheses run scored um, to the factor of one point eight three divided by Parentheses runs scored to the factor of one eight three plus a uh, parentheses runs allowed to the factor of one eight three. And this has always been a math pod, big time math pod. What the fuck does that mean? Yo, you know what? I I I, I disagree that Trev likes runs scored and stuff like that, but I think it's over. I'm taking the over. You got to be able to win close games. So like, I I kind of want. I don't want a team to just blow everyone out all season. Like, you gotta. Get into the nitty gritty every night, right? I and think like teams that have like a lot of comebacks and like fight to the end usually sure. do well in the playoffs. Yeah, I, I mean, there's I'm I'm sure there's numbers and geeks that don't like what you're saying, but I mean, there's always there's extra inning stats and one run games and stuff that show that there's kind of not control with. But uh, I'm going the over. I, the Central is going to be a cat fight all year. The Brewers find a way into it. We wanted to count them out last year. When Yelly got hurt, and they refused to do that, and I mean they were aggression bounce away from holding the World Series trophy. So, I'll take the over as well. Being nice, and I th- I think I would have pegged them for eighty to eighty five, and it's eighty two. My guess was eighty five. Yeah. So okay, free All money. Right. Cool. Cool. We're out. We'll see you later. Enjoy your the rest of your life. Enjoy your lives, people. Major key. We the best. You say weed is the best? I said we the, we the best. Weed is the best. Wow. Wow. Okay. Clip John Boy saying that. <laughs>